Hi everyone! Now, if you've been following Pink Zebra for a while, you know our sprinkles are blendable. Which means you can take two different fragrances, put them together to create your own fragrance. You can do it with two, three, four, however many sprinkle scents you want. Look, I got two helpers today. Um, you can also do that with our soaks. Did you know that? Probably not. Not a lot of people do. Our soaks is our um, liquid fragrance. Sorry, they're distracting me. Um, so if you don't want to melt, you don't want to worry about electricity, you can use our soaks line and all of our fabulous soakable products, which are called our Just Add Soaks products, to fragrance your space, your car, um, classrooms, your office, whatever. So I'm just going to show you how to blend using our our soaks line with our naked reeds. We sell our reeds, these are called naked reeds, we sell them unfilled. So this is just empty. Empty! Because we want you to be able to use whatever soaks you want and however many soaks you want. So these are our naked reeds. If you don't know about our reed diffusers, keep the lid. Whenever you need to re-soak your reeds, put your lid back on. Turn it over, soak your reeds, turn it back over, take the lid back off, and your reeds are moist again. That is how you keep your fragrance flowing. Our reed diffusers last about three to five months. No joke. So, you buy your naked reed. Let's take that off. Ah, my things, we'll take the reeds off. Oops, take your little nice wooden decoration off. Okay, so there you have your little glass bottom. I have two fragrances here. Aloe and sea salt and green tea and lemongrass. You see both of them have been used. Our soaks bottles come with the squirter lid plus the, um, what's it called? A tom atomizer? Atomizer. The, the spray mister. So you can use it as like a body spray or spray it on your furniture. Amazing. So. These have both been um, used before, but so I'm gonna put these two together in a reed diffuser so I can use it in other ways. So, hold this please. Thank you. Okay, who was this one? Green tea. I really, Ooh, since aloe wow. and sea salt is not a current scent, I have a fuzz on my finger, um, I'm gonna use all of this one because, you know, it's not current, so I really want to just use it all. So you just pour it in. Our Naked Reads hold one soaks bottle. So if you have half and half on your soaks bottles, then you can just combine them and know that you're going to fill up a read. So I'm probably going to have a little bit of soaks left in this one, which is totally cool. So I got my one cent. This one's going to be more like a 25 75 <laughs> blend, not a 50-50. So that leaves me a little bit of green tea and lemongrass, which is cool because our green tea and lemongrass is a natural mosquito repellent. Awesome. So guess what these two kids are going to be wearing whenever it becomes mosquito season? No. No. Oh, y'all love it. That's the aloe and sea salt. Which one's mine? That's green tea and lemongrass. So we're going to spray that all over you so no mosquitoes won't bother you. So, we got our two fragrances in here. Put your reeds in, back in there. Uh, there we go. Twirl it up. And now you're mixed all up. That smells different. Mm -hmm. It's very fresh smelling. So, we got aloe and sea salt and green tea and lemongrass. Mm, not bad. So, whenever you're ready to use your reeds, you just take this little... Um, nice twig twine thing off F flail out your um, thingies get them moist with your lid and you are ready to go that is how you customize your own reed diffuser isn't that awesome i thought y'all would find that very helpful thanks for watching guys bye bye bye, bye.